Hello and welcome back for step three. My name is Jeff Hendrickson from mm -hmm. Laughing Raven Studio. If you've just joined us, this is, let's see, video one, two, three, four, I believe now. Uh, we started off with an overview, went to step one, step two, and I believe we're in step three right now. Um, as you can tell, I am not a professional at doing this. Look at this, I don't even know what step we're on. I do, but I don't. At any rate, what we're doing here is um, building garments from pretty much from scratch. And it kind of just occurred to me that uh, if you've been following along so far, you might be wondering why I did some of the things I did and, and what some of these other things are all about. Okay, This is a ladies' warm-up jacket. And let's go over these couple of seams right here because these are important things for you to know if you're doing women's wear. In doing women's wear, what you want to do or what you want to strive to do is you want to strive to give a woman a slimmer look. Okay, and that's what these lines right here do. These lines take the eye and they move them in a way that provides a much more flattering line for a woman. Um, this jacket that I'm designing here right now is actually for a line that will be coming out uh, pretty soon. I don't know if this is one of the ones that's actually going to make the line or not. But it's a good one to illustrate uh, several several different things for you. This was made with the line tool. If you saw the last video, sorry, not the line tool, the uh, pen tool. If you saw the last video, you saw how we did this. But you know what? You didn't even see how we did that because we copied it. I just remembered that. So we'll start using the pen tool here on this one then and show you how we do it. On this guy, we copied, we moved, we came down here to the line tool near the stroke. We turned it into 0.25. And we showed you a little bit about the gaps. We'll uh, we'll do something with the dash and the gap uh, a little bit later on. But for right now, let's go ahead and use the pen tool so that we can show you how we did these particular lines. Um, and you know what? For this exercise, let's just get rid of these two lines right here. Let's get rid of this, which was a pocket line. And we'll put those back in again. So we're going to take it right down to there. And we're going to create a new line for ourselves. Okay, we're going to do that with the pen tool. Now, a couple things about the pen tool. If you've got lines that are still active and not locked down, when you click the pen tool on the end, it will include it in that line. We, <clears throat> excuse me, we really want to keep these lines separate. So we're going to separate those out. And to do that, we're just going to select everything right here in this corner because that's where that line is going to be plugged into. And you see all the different things that highlight there? That means that I've got all those in a group. And if we look down here, it automatically pulls up and shows that everything is on layer 23. The reason why I have so many layers here is because I had a lot of garments all on one page, and I pulled them all off into separate pages. Um, you can see if there's anything on a layer just by clicking the button. And when you turn it off, if nothing disappears, that means that you've got an empty layer. For those of you who aren't familiar with Illustrator, for those of you who are, I'm sorry if this is repetitious for you. Uh, so we can actually get rid of a lot of layers here right now because they're just not necessary. Drag those things down to the garbage can, pull them out, but let's not linger there because we need to keep moving, okay? Let's zoom back into this guy just a little bit. We see here in layer 23 that we've got all these paths that are in... Well, some of the paths aren't in a group, but a lot of the paths are. If we just click here like this, we'll see all the paths that are actually in a particular group, okay? Basically, all we want to do right now is just lock things down so that we can create this other one. So let's click back out. Let's go here. That's going to select that. If you do Apple 2, you will lock all those things down if you're on a Mac, okay? And now we need to draw a line. I'm running out of time, I see here. Let's zoom in real quickly. Sorry. We will draw our new line. We're going to grab our pen tool. We're going to come into here, which is where we started it a while ago. We want to come down to, let's bring this one down right to here. And we're going to stretch it out. Okay. We're going to make that line just like that. That's our new line. Our video is about to end. I'm using Jing, which is a great software tool. Five-minute videos is what we get. Come back for the next one. We'll continue from here. Thanks again. I'm Jeff Hendrickson. This is Laughing Raven Studio.